Hi guys, Penguin Overlord here. Uh, sorry about the uh, radio silence for the last uh, two weeks and the three week delay in producing any meaningful, excuse me, meaningful Ghost Recon content. Uh, life just kind of got a bit busy for me. A uh, bunch of things happen, IRL stuff, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'm back. I'm going to be working on um, more Ghost Recon videos soon. Um, actually, uh, I, I'm going to try to push out a Mark 18 uh, review video out tonight. Because uh, that's almost done. I just need to analyze some B-roll, do a little bit, record a little bit more B-roll footage, and do the video and throw everything together. Anyway, so we're talking about this. Um, in this video, we're going to talk about the uh, Mercenaries update that was just announced today and is coming out tomorrow in true Ubisoft fashion. Complete and total radio silence until a couple of days or, recently, a day before the update. Hopefully, communication will be better in Breakpoint, but this looks kind of cool, actually. Um, so, Mercenaries mode, it's PvP VE, so you're going to be dealing with other players and enemies. Uh, and it's kind of Battle Royale-ish. It's kind of Ghost Recon's own unique take on that sort of genre. So, you're not, it's not like a PUBG or the other uh, Battle Royale game that shall not be named on this channel, <laughs> um, where you've got like 50 people dropping onto an island or whatever. So it's actually uh, 8v8. Um, sorry, I was looking for the uh, thing where it says 8v8, but it's 8v8. Uh, they said that in the uh, trailer video. Um, so basically, you don't, you're basically the entire goal is to like get into a helicopter and get out of there. Um, so that's pretty cool. So basically, you don't know where this helicopter is going to be, so you have to like go find transmissions, transmitters, and uh, go use them. And uh, if you get three, you'll get the location for the helicopter. And also, a couple of other things, randomly, position of other players, uh, rare items like gear and weapons, position of a vehicle, which is pretty cool. So unlike the Ghost War PvP, uh, vehicles are actually going to play a role, which I like, which in a massive open world game like Wildlands, the PvP should kind of include vehicles, which is one reason I was disappointed with Ghost War, and I don't play it that much. Um, yeah, so the thing is, you're going to start off the game with no gear or items or weapons or anything. You'll just have like a melee weapon. So you'll have to, kind of like the Battle Royale thing, you'll have to like find your own weapons. So that's pretty cool. Um, it's definitely, um, gonna bring out the survival aspect, which we'll talk about in a little bit, but, yeah, so you, the helicopter will deploy after you get three transmitters, uh, three transmitters, so once that happens, the exact position of the extraction point is, uh, unlocked, and then you'll gain one out of the five segments needed to fill your extraction gauge and board the helicopter, so you need to fill, I guess, that bar up. Um, so, when somebody in the game activates three transmitters, um, the helicopter will start going, and it will basically be a mad rush to get to the helicopter. When it lands, everyone will know. And you can still gather intel if you haven't activated the three transmitters, but I don't really see people doing that. I see people trying to go rush the helicopters. So that way they can win. Um, yeah, so... Obviously, once you reach the extraction point, you actually need to defend it. So that's pretty cool. So you can't just... It's not just, like, the fastest player who gets there is going to automatically win. You, it'll, you'll take time. So you need to fill that gauge and stay in the set area around the helicopter. There's checkpoints, which is good. So if you have to leave, um, you won't um, lose everything. So that will be good. Um, so, yeah... Um, if there's other players in the area, it will not extract you, so you have to keep everyone out. Make sure you kill everyone who comes for you, and so that way you'll escape. Uh, when you spawn in a match, you'll be equipped with nothing but your melee weapon, as said earlier. So you have to find best gear weapons and consumables, fight enemy players, and the Unidad forces. Now, I did see, again, top-notch Ubisoft communication. I did see elsewhere on Ubisoft... Uh, places saying that would be like you'd fa be facing Santa Blanca instead of Unidad, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on in there. It'll probably be Unidad um, because nobody likes them. And um, 
Yeah, or it could be both. That would make that would make the game really interesting, where if you had to worry about Santa Blanca and Unidad. So obviously, caches, sniper rifles, flashbangs, armored vests, and healing syringes. So that's interesting. So you're gonna have to find your own sort of gear. So armor and health. So they're incorporating um, aspects from Ghost Recon Breakpoint into this, which is pretty cool. So um, based on the gear you'll pick up, an armor bar will appear. And that will absorb a percent of damage based on the penetration capability of your opponent's weapon. So, um, so gear actually will make a difference, which is something that a lot of people have been requesting. Uh, that would a lot of people have requested that be added to the main game of Wildlands. And while it, 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 well, I mean, it's not entirely clear how it's going to work in Breakpoint, whether it's going to be standard looter shooter or whatever. Uh, it looks like they did add that, so that's pretty cool. Uh, if you deal hit by a weapon that deals penetration damage, you'll start to bleed, and you'll gradually lose a percentage of your health, which is pretty cool. That would actually be a good thing to add to Ghost Recon Breakpoint, because if you lose your... Because if you get shot, at least watching the E3 gameplay, if you get shot, uh, it only does a set amount of damage. You don't actually bleed. But if you were to be shot in real life, like, you'd keep bleeding, and you need to address that ASAP. So... That, this is cool. I like this. Um, so yeah, you get three different healing items. Medkit restores all health and will stop bleeding. Bandages stop bleeding but not restore health. Syringe restores health but will not stop bleeding. So uh, yeah, you're going to have to juggle all of those um, sort of stuff. Uh, destructible, destructible doors will be open with CQC. Cool. Uh, okay, so... Lone Wolf costume. Long awaited. People have been waiting for this damn thing to arrive. Uh, there's been some confusion over whether it was going to be uh, the Walker a Walker icon where you'd have John Bernthal's face or whether it's going to be a costume like all the other costumes in games. So it looks like a costume. Uh, I know some people are going to be disappointed about that. It would have been cool to have John Bernthal's icon in there for um, just for doing stuff around Wildlands, but hey, it is what it is. It still looks pretty cool. Uh, so, and this is where people need to pay attention to this. After completing your first game, you will be granted the Lone, the lone Wolf costume as a reward to thank all players who try out this mode. So, you do not have to win this. It's just completing the first game. That's it. So, go try it out. Have fun. After the first game, you unlock it. Everyone's happy. Except the people who wanted the Walker icon. With John Bernthal's face. Uh, different mercenary item rewards. Uh, if you get your first win, you get a patch. Third win, mercenary pants. Fifth win, mercenary heavy vest. Tenth win, jacket army mercenary. That's uh, a weird way to phrase that, but okay. Uh, mercenary heavy vest with shoulder pads for the 15th win. That's 10th win. And 25th win, mercenary backpack. So basically, we don't know what any of this stuff is right now. Um, it would be really cool if those, this mercenary gear was just pieces off the Walker costumes. That way you could customize it however you wanted. Uh, obviously, um, that's speculation. I don't actually know what it's going to look like. No one does. I'm just saying it would be pretty cool if that was the case. We'll see. Um, because having an actual belt on uh, your pants... Uh, like an actual battle belt, that would be pretty cool. It would make the JPC, car when you're wearing the JPC and APC plate carriers in game, look way better. Uh, some bug fixes that nobody really cares about. Okay, so that's it. Um, wow. Uh, yeah, one thing I'm going to be working on with videos in the future is trying to make them way shorter because I spent nine minutes explaining all this stuff. Whatever. Um,. So yeah, I'm going to work on the uh, Mark 18 video tonight, try to get it pushed out. Um, I will stream Mercenaries mode on the channel. However, it's my dad's birthday this weekend, and I've got some other stuff going on this weekend. So I don't have a definite time yet of when I'm going to be able to stream this, because I don't know when my dad's going to want to go out to celebrate his birthday. Uh, I don't know that info yet. So um I will stream it, just don't know when yet. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, I'm Penguin Overlord. I will catch you all next time. Take care, guys.